Hi everyone, Brian here with SampleLibraryReview.com and today we're going to check out Strands from Void and Vista. This is a cinematic sound design library of bowed instruments and samples and it includes 2.5 gigabytes of samples with over 900 snapshots. And in addition to those 900 snapshots, there are 32 sound sources for you to mix and match as you see fit with a dual layer engine. It is NKS compatible, so it will require the contact player 6.7.0 or higher. This library retails from voidinvista.com for $155. All right, so I have strands here open in my DAW. Let's go ahead and just check out some of the presets, and then later on, we might look at some of the effects and some of the individual sound sources and kind of craft our own patch. So let's just start here with this one called Welcome, and we'll scroll through some of them. So if you notice, I will be moving the mod wheel CC01 and it will do this morph here between the two separate layers there. Acoustic clean here, which we can click and go in and change the sound source. And then over here, it says ensemble. Earlier I mentioned that the mod wheel morphs between, but it seems to do something different for each individual snapshot. For instance, here as I move the mod wheel, you can see it adjusts these different, the lo-fi and the filter there, and the dynamics a little bit. So we can always, you know, program it to additional things as well, but it's not always the morph. <laughs>
All right, so the stuff here, the designed, um, I wanted to check out those presets. Now these are like foundations. As you could see, one of them was called Symbol Textures. So we can access that just by going in here and there it is loading up that sound source. You'll notice it's just this side of the morph. Um, so those, as well as the morphs, literally every single combination that you could possibly get. So just experimenting a little bit. I'll be honest, the interface is a little bit cluttered, but I think all these sounds are really, really good. Um, the, the library is really interesting, quite unique. The interface reminds me literally of the game Death, uh, Death Stranding and its name Strands. I have no idea if that was their intention or not, uh, but with the handprints of 
that game. It just little something I noticed. I like it a lot. You have to really learn this interface. The motion is the LFOs and everything. They can be set over here. The sounds are very, very good. I think maybe a little bit bloated in the amount of snapshots. You know, we have 900 and every single combination possible here. But you heard the specifically the designed ones. Those are all very good and very unique. We had drums. We had some more modern sounding trance stuff as well as really dark cinematic textures. I will say most of them are quite busy. Um, so even just that one, I wanted to isolate that at the end. You know, I loaded up these two layers and I just held one, the viola clean. Meaning that you will, you can get a lot of mileage out of this library just by using those built-in samples. I mean, the viola um, sample sounded great, you know, and then morphing it between you get something simple and something very, very complex, depending on what you want, what you need. I did notice that some of the snapshots took a little bit to load and some of them were quite CPU intensive. So something to keep in mind, but overall, this is a very beautifully designed and very unique sound uh, library that I think most sound designers, especially ones that like textural and obscure ambient type stuff as well, um, as a lot of sound design possibilities without even doing anything melodic within this instrument. Very, very powerful. Um, I was really impressed with the depth and the amount of stuff you can do with this one. Um, so that has been a quick look at Strands from Void and Vista. Thank you guys for checking this one out with me, and I will see you next time. <laughs>